Well, the Green Party are on a bit of a roll after a strong showing in last month's European elections. Joining us now from their spring conference in Scarborough is the party's co-leader, Sean Berry. Uh, thank you for being on the programme uh, this morning. Um, now, the last time we spoke, Good you were glowing after a good performance at the local elections. You didn't do quite so yeah. well in Peterborough, though, did you? You only got 3% of the vote. Are you worried that people are happy to vote for Green, a protest vote in the European elections and the local elections, but not when it really matters when they're choosing their MP? Well, in Peterborough, we do have uh, councillors elected, and that was actually our best ever result in a parliamentary election there, in a by-election. So you can't dent my enthusiasm about our recent results. Not when, actually, for Westminster polls, we're now polling 9 to 11 per cent. That's a really, really high number of people, one in ten people, saying they will vote green for Westminster, under first past the post as we currently have it. That's places where we can win new seats right there. In the European elections, we came first in places like Norwich and Bristol and obviously Brighton, where we already have an MEP, MP. Um, but also, we were second behind parties that everyone would want us to be in places like Sheffield and Lancaster. We've got a whole new set of targets now and, and a whole new load of MEPs elected who are fantastic and MPs in waiting. We're a very, very enthusiastic party at the moment at our conference here in Scarborough and we're making plans for the, for the next steps. This, uh, this success has been a long time coming. It isn't a flash in the pan, it isn't a protest vote. We've had people working on the ground for, for many years. We've been electing councillor after councillor, local champions who are fighting for local services in the face of austerity and those people are trusted. People are now getting used to voting green again and again. I can't see us going backwards from this and everyone here is very enthusiastic about the future. You recently said that the Lib Dems are part of the old politics, criticising them for signing up to an austerity programme. But I can't help thinking you'd have done an awful lot better in Peterborough, wouldn't you, if you'd actually teamed up with the Lib Dems. Aren't they your natural allies that you should be looking to do deals with? Certainly we're working with them um, on the People's Vote campaign. Um, when it came to the European elections, it was really important that we looked at the total sum of all the parties who were arguing with the Remain. And on that, with the Lib Dems, we couldn't agree more. But they can't hide from their history and their record. We are rivals with them and we are entitled to point that out. These are just facts that austerity was an enormous mistake that's caused huge amounts of harm right across the country. Uh, local councils have been squeezed to the bone. They've cut back on their services and there is genuine harm to hundreds of thousands of millions of people across the country thanks to these cuts to libraries, to youth services, to health visitors, to social care, um, in pointing out the harm that that caused um, and asking them to, to say it was a huge mistake. We're not doing anything wrong and they are not actually going back on that policy now. Joe Swinson said that austerity had to happen. Well, well we disagree. We disagreed from the start and, and we're there to point that out. We've called all the recent uh, issues um, in politics, right from Brexit to austerity to climate change, and people are catching up with us. OK. In the Sun on Sunday this morning, uh, you've told the newspaper that you have previously done drugs in the past. Are you not worried about yeah. the environmental impact of this? I mean, cocaine, for example, is doing immense damage to the rainforests. Yeah, no, now I am. Uh, I wasn't planning a political career when I was young and I did try cocaine once. And if I'd had better education about its effects, I wouldn't have because it, I hated it. Um, and now I know, I mean, as a politician, now I work on policing in London. I know the enormous harm that is caused by the illegal drugs market. There's uh, people suffering from addiction for which they need treatment. And then we've got the, the huge harm caused to young people, the devastating impact of violence on young people, which is driven by the illegal drugs market, which is left at the moment in the hands of organised crime. Uh, we have to take an evidence-based public health approach. It's good that politicians are being honest about um, our past and our, and our involvement in this. And being honest about what needs to change is what's important in drugs. We have to take that evidence-based approach. Uh, the green policy is to, to look at this from the point of view of, of evidence and public health, um, base our principles for this issue on treatment, on education, on regulation and on honesty. OK, and just finally, um, at conference last year, the Green Party didn't adopt the internationally recognised definition of anti-Semitism. This is the um, International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition, the one, of course, that Labour controversially didn't adopt and then subsequently did. Why has the Green Party not adopted it and do you think that you should? 
We are, we're a very strongly um, anti-racist party and we are looking at how to adopt that into our code of conduct and our disciplinary processes and our wider policies as well. Um, we have a very democratic party and at the moment that is under review by a group of people who are looking at that and looking at um, the new What's working your definition view? of Islamophobia as well. Standing against hate crime of all kinds is very important to us. What's your personal view? My personal view is I've, um, I've signed up to it um, as part of the London Assembly and as a local councillor in Camden, um, the working definition of the IHRA. When it comes to incorporating it into um, the technicalities of party disciplinary processes, it just gets a little bit more complicated, so it's taking time. But I think you will not find Greens who say that we are not against anti-Semitism, against hate crime of all kinds. We're currently fighting to get misogyny classified as a hate crime as well because it is really important that we have the right laws and the right penalties when people are using discrimination as a way of committing crimes and that if they're allowed to get away with it that that really does lead to a less cohesive society and that's not what we want to build. Okay, Sean Barry from a very beautiful looking Scarborough. Uh, thank you for being on the programme.